Easy guys, it's me, Bub Sagu Oi. Welcome to this episode and welcome to the channel. If you're already a subscriber, give yourselves a thumbs up. If you're not, make sure you like and subscribe by the end of this video. In today's episode, I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step instruction on how to release your track on all the biggest streaming and downloading platforms in the world, including Apple Music, Spotify, Pandora, YouTube Music, Deezer, the list goes on using the number one digital distributor in the game, my personal choice, DistroKid. So without any further ado, let's log into my DistroKid account and let's release a banger. So over the last few years, releasing a lot more independent music, I knew finding the right distributor was detrimental to my releases. A lot of people DM me and ask me why I choose DistroKid over other digital distributors. DistroKid for me is the go-to digital distributor for all musicians, all artists, DJs, etc. DistroKid for me checks all the right boxes. Number one, it's reliable and reliability is key. You don't want a digital distributor where it takes two to four weeks, comes out with one store and not another, maybe another a couple of days later. You don't want that. Literally from 24 to 48 hours, your song is up on digital platforms. That's just amazing. Number two, everything's clear and concise. There's no hidden charges. Number three, the site is really easy to navigate through because that's important to me. I don't like anything that's gonna boggle my mind. I like something which is quite clear. Number four, I want maximum payout for my streams and my sales. This is where DistroKid takes the cake. 100% of your sales and streaming revenue. Boy, the last thing you want is a distributor who says, yeah, I take 20%, no. DistroKid gives you 100% of sales and streaming revenue, minus banking charges and other admin charges. And finally, the price. This is the point where my jaw just dropped. And I thought, what the f For as little as $19.99, you get unlimited uploads a year. Did you hear what I said? Unlimited uploads. That means, singers, songwriters, producers, beat makers, you can upload your songs every day and you'll be getting paid. And Mr. Joel Blogs in another part of the world, if they decided to take your song and use it on a trailer or an engagement video or whatever they're doing, that gets flagged up because you uploaded it to DistroKid and guess who gets paid? Yes, you do. Party in and you use Shazam to find out what track it is because this song's heavy. Guess what? That song comes up because you upload it to DistroKid. Need I say more? I've just highlighted a minuscule amount of benefits that you get when you use DistroKid as your digital distributor. That's why they are my primary choice. I personally have an upgraded plan, which is only $35.99, but it allows me to have multiple artists to upload and a bit more flexibility, which but the ballpark for independent artists, $19.99, you can't go wrong. So during this video, if you want to do the right thing and join the DistroKid fam like myself, make sure you use this link down below that's distrokid.com forward slash vip forward slash bopsugu and guess what you get seven percent off in the first year need i say more let's log into distrokid and release our banger so the first thing you're going to do is sign up to distrokid and guess what we're going to use my code to get seven percent off i'm going to save you some dough www.distrokid dot com forward slash VIP forward slash Bops Sagu. I was contemplating to put oi at the end but Bops Sagu would do. Oh look at that. We value our privacy, I value yours too. Looks like you've clicked a VIP link to get here. Someone sure loves you. Bops Sagu loves you. The link you've clicked entitles you to a 7% off your first year's membership. Sign up now to see your discounting prices. So when you click that, you get 7% off. Then you get a two-step verification. You're gonna enter your six-digit code. 
Okay, before we go any further, I'm going to play a snippet of the track that we're going to upload. This is Bob Saggu featuring Hargun Kaur and Rab Jinna. <laughs> track we're gonna upload that straight away you see this segment here which says services and there's a whole list of platforms that we are going to upload on we got Spotify Apple music iTunes Instagram Facebook TikTok, wrestle Google Play YouTube music Amazon soundtrack by twitch Pandora Deezer Tidal Napster iHeart and the list goes on I want this song to be featured on all them however I'm going to be releasing my own feature video on YouTube so for that reason I'm going to uncheck Google Play and YouTube music but everything else is going to remain checked because I want my song playing everywhere because that means maximum revenue right the number of songs you see a whole list here you can even upload an album but we've only got one song which is a single so we're going to keep that checked previously released no what that actually means is have you previously distributed the song on any of the distribution sites? And the answer to that is no, because this is a brand new song, so we're going to leave it no. Artist band name, that is going to be my name. You don't want to include the song title, any featured artist here. It's just the main artist, in this case, is Bob Sagu. Some people may have some weird names, exclamations and symbols and all sorts in their name. And it may get rejected by stores too. So this is where having a normal name kind of helps. And if you're unsure as to the name, there's a few points at the bottom that you should read before typing in. Only list your name, stage name or band name. Do not include anyone else's name without their permission. Don't list featured artists here, which I mentioned. Capitalization is damn important. Don't use all caps or lower cases. Keep it normal. And don't use emojis. Why would you use an emoji? Anyway, group this single with my other Bopsagoo releases. Is Bopsagoo already in Spotify? The answer to that is yes. I'm going to copy and paste my Spotify URL. Is the artist already in Apple Music? The answer to that is yes too. I'm going to copy and paste my URL in there. For some artists, their Spotify and Apple Music may appear in a drop down list. You can select whether that is you or not. The next section is release date. I've decided to release this on the 7th of January 2021. So we're going to set that date. Release time, 12 a.m. That's a good time. Midnight comes out at midnight. This applies to Spotify only. Other stores will go live midnight-ish, as it says in the notes below. The next section is time synchronization. It's very important to read this and understand what you're checking. 7th of Jan 2021 at 12 a.m. in the listener's time zone, which is the UK time zone for me. Or I can select 7th of Jan 2021 at midnight in New York and simultaneously all of the countries at the same time regardless of their time zone. I don't want that option, I want the first option. The next option is pre-order. Do I want to pre-order for my song? It's not necessary that you do. Some people like having pre-orders. I actually don't mind. So yeah, let's just say four days for pre-order. Monday the 4th of January 2021 just gives people the option to buy it before the official release date. Record label. This is a very, very important section. Independent artists, I get asked all the time, do you need a record label to release this song? The answer to that is no. And it clearly says here in DistroKid. If you're unsigned, make up a label name. It could be anything you want. Babyface records. I love Mushy Peas records. It could be whatever you want. This is the beauty about DistroKid. I'm going to call this Best Life Records because I'm living my best life. Right, the next section is album cover. You need to make sure that your album cover is 3000 pixels 
by 3000 pixels a perfect square and there's a few things you need to note make sure you don't increase or decrease the size of your picture because it's going to go blurry and all weird and stores can reject it there's a few points that you need to read i'm going to read them to you don't increase the size of smaller images to make them bigger this makes the image blurry and stores will reject them just like i told you stores will reject artwork that contains website addresses so don't slap website addresses social handles and information stores don't want that and they will reject it immediately make sure there's no twitter name on there make sure the image isn't pixelated rotated or poor quality and um, don't put any prices or store logos and make sure you own the artwork but you're not taking it from the internet and copied and pasted and made your own cover so now i'm going to upload my artwork by clicking the box here or you could drag it into it and there's my beautiful artwork open voila how nice is that cover next section what language is your song in unfortunately you don't get punjabi language in the drop down menu so i'm going to leave you as english primary genre whole list in that drop down menu but this is world music secondary genre kind of is a pop number song title here is where you put your song title with any additional information for example if you've used a featured artist if it's a part or volume if it's an instrumental if it's a cover song if you're unsure there's information underneath so you can make sure you get it right let's type in our song name rab jinnah and it features hargun core oh look what happened there i got it wrong did you use the format correctly here's what the stores require example with one featured artist under pressure featuring david bowie in brackets as you can see i missed out the brackets so let's type it in again so we get it right this time open bracket feature hargun core there you go audio file choose file so you can choose wave wma m4a flac mp3 or cdda there's a lot of digital distributors that don't allow mp3s they have a point because the quality of it isn't as good as wav but with distrokid you get the option i myself always use wav so we're going to choose our file it's already in the folder so that's being uploaded already got an isrc code no songwriter I wrote the song or managed the songwriter. It's an original tune. Yes, it is. Music and lyrics. We're going to put in my full name, Dupinder Singh Sagu. Explicit lyrics. There's no explicit lyrics in this. Is this a radio edit? No. This song is clean. Instrumental. This song contains lyrics. Preview clip start time. This is where you have a little preview of your track. You can either let streaming sites decide or let me specify. I want to specify so we're going to specify this and choose a start time I want it to drop in on the chorus 47 seconds so 0 0 47 is when I want the song click to start track price 69 cents 99 cents or $1.29 99 cents it's reasonable it's in the middle that is our main section done here we have additional options yes it bumps up the price a little but for what you get in return this is pretty much insignificant so you have youtube money which is 4.95 a year where youtube will collect 20 percent of the revenue if they find anybody else's using your song which is a cool feature to have because i'm not going to sit there looking for other people and see if they've used my material this is where distro kid does the legwork for you and guess what you get paid they don't get paid you get paid get notified and paid if your music is ever used in any youtube videos we'll add this single to youtube's id database and continuously scan for matches like i said they do the legwork for you when your music is detected anywhere on youtube you'll be notified and the ad revenue will automatically go to you instead of the person who uploaded the video and if you're unsure about this option there's a youtube video here that you can click and watch so we're going to select this option does your single contain any audio beats loops samples video game sounds or other people's music the answer is no i created all the sounds myself 
This single does not contain beats, loops, sound effects, or other audio I downloaded from sample libraries or other public sources. The answer is no. I promise not to allow other artists to remix this song 100%. This single does not contain public domain recordings or songs. No, it doesn't. This single does not contain sounds from video games, television, movies, etc. This single does not contain any audio from other people's YouTube video. No, it doesn't. I'm the only person who will add this single to YouTube content ID. Nobody else, band members or producers, etc., will try to add it on. I have not used another company such as TuneCore, CD Baby to submit this single to YouTube content ID. No, there's no conflict there at all. YouTube is really serious about this stuff. If any previous statements are found to be untrue, I understand that my DistroKid account may be suspended and worst case, I'll be liable for fees, legal or otherwise, that may accrue. Who wrote the music? I wrote all the music on the single myself. Store Maximizer. DistroKid will automatically deliver this single to new online stores and streaming services as we add them. Basically for $7.95, there's always new stores emerging. So DistroKid will add this onto new stores as they come along. I'm not really interested in that. So I'm gonna skip that one. Shazam and iPhone Siri for 99 cents a year. I think that's pretty cool. So we're gonna select that. Leave a legacy, $29 one-time fee. DistroKid will never delete this single. Even if you cancel your account or your credit card is declined, you can always choose to delete it anytime or not. You'll continue to accrue all the royalties as normal, protect your music and leave a legacy for future generations, even if you die. I'm gonna leave that one. I recorded this music. I am authorized to sell it in stores and worldwide and collect all royalties. Yes, sir, I am. I'm not using any other artist's name in the song title or album title without their approval. No, I am not. Non-standard capitalization detected. Apple may convert to standard capitalization per paragraph 3.21 in Apple Star Guide. Basically, I'm using normal English. I have read and agreed to the terms of DistroKid distribution agreement. If you are unsure, you are advised to click this link. Read, 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 read. So let's just have a once over everything that we've done. And finally, the button that says done and done. And now just wait. There you go, done. We've sent the singles to stores and told them to make it live on 7th of January, 2021 with a pre-order starting 4th of Jan. We made a pre-save page to get more listeners. It's so exciting to see your single online. And guess what? I did it myself. So there you go, guys. A step-by-step -step instruction on how to upload your track on all digital platforms. A click of a few buttons using DistroKid. Once again, if you want to sign up to DistroKid, make sure you use the link in the description down below to get 7% off your first year. Thank you to DistroKid for sponsoring this video. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon to stay notified every time I upload a new video. From myself, Bup Sagu Oi, remember to stay safe, stay alert, join DistroKid, and until next time, peace. Rabu Jinnah, Rabu Jinnah, Rabu Jinnah